Are you thinking of expanding your small business? Do you think that borrowing money for additional capital is a good idea? Or are you scared to apply for a loan because you might end up buried in debt and have sleepless nights? If so, you are in the right place because in this video entitled How to Borrow Money to Grow Your Small Business Without Getting into Deep Debt, you'll learn how to be confident in growing your business by borrowing money. And in this video, let's talk about Gemma. She's married with four kids. Gemma worked as a plastic factory supervisor for a local company. And not long ago, she was forced to resign to take care of her sick father. When her father passed away, her husband, who works overseas, told her that it would be better for her to stay home with their kids. So Gemma inherited a good amount of money from her father and she used it as her capital to start her rice retailing business. The people she used to work with became her repeat buyers and some of them would buy sacks of rice from her. Happy with how her small business was going, Gemma thought of expanding to a nearby town. But with two kids in college, she was worried about where to get the money. The idea of borrowing money crossed her mind but she was too scared to do it. She grew up thinking that borrowing money was a bad idea. You see, she had an aunt who lived a stressful life because of the debt she had to pay. And naturally, Gemma didn't want that to happen to her. But why did Gemma want so badly to succeed in her business? Just like any other OFW wife, she longs to have a complete family. Her husband had been away for a long time and she would only visit them every time he finishes his two-year contracts. Her heart desires to be with her husband so they can be together in raising their kids as well. Will Gemma let this stop her from growing her business? When Gemma found out about me, she sent me an email asking for business advice. Hi, Mommy N. I have a lot of what ifs. What if I couldn't repay the loan as agreed? What if my business fails because of this? How will I protect my business? I told her this. There's an old saying that goes, it takes money to make money. Contrary to what other people think, borrowing money isn't always a bad thing. Think of it this way. If you're too scared to borrow money, then you're letting go of the opportunity to grow your business. Yes, continuous borrowing without a payment plan is dangerous. That's why it's important for Gemma to know how much her business needs. This way, she'll know how much to borrow and how much she can pay. Are you also considering borrowing money like Gemma? Now, here are some important things to keep in mind before applying for a loan. Number one, be wary of fast approval loans, especially apps and ads on your mobile phones. I've heard a lot of horror stories from others who got harassed by these so-called loan companies. They feel nervous whenever they receive text messages reminding them of their payments. They even harass their friends who are on their contact lists. So be careful. Scout for reputable rural banks, microfinance, and financing companies. Even pawn shops are good sources if you have the collateral for them. Now, here's a tip from an article published by Rappler. A good lender won't give you money right away because they are protecting their assets and you as well. They'll want to make sure that you're truly ready for the responsibility and its accompanying reward. So, number two, know how much your business needs. This will help you know how much to borrow and how much you can pay and when you can pay. And don't forget to include the interest that will be charged to you. Remember, only borrow for what your business needs. Some people are tempted to borrow more than what their business needs for their personal use. Now, never, never borrow for buying clothes, appliances, cars, most especially cars, and other assets which will not earn you money. Always borrow only for your business because it will generate money to pay it back. Now, number three, prepare the important documents and collateral you need for processing. Yes, you'll need to gather those documents. That's why a reputable finance company will ask you to submit documents. They need the information to find out if you qualify to apply for a loan. And when your loan is approved, let's go to number four, be committed to your promise to pay. Whatever happens, you must stick to your promise to pay, even if it means that you and your family have to tighten your belts. Don't worry, your sacrifices will soon be rewarded. And what's more, when they know that you're a good payer, when you need to borrow money again, they will approve your application right away. Let's go back to Gemma's story. Many months later, she sent me an email to update me about her business. Mommy in, I've got good news. I opened another store. Not in a nearby town though, I decided to open in a nearby barangay. I realize it's easier for me to manage it that way. You know, Mommy N, I admit I was really nervous when I applied for a loan. My hand was shaking when I signed the papers. Well, just in a few more months and my loan will be fully repaid. Isn't that nice? I replied, awesome. I'm so happy for you. I'm glad you faced your fear of borrowing money. It wasn't bad, right? Look at how you're able to expand your rice business. 
You see, borrowing money per se doesn't put your business or relationships in danger. You just have to be careful to use it to your advantage. As business owners, we cannot completely avoid borrowing money, even if we have a lot of savings to grow our business. This is Mommy N, your Mommy Negosyo, saying, Be business-minded, Pinoy! Music